to Canvas Heart Shoe Boxes. It's Julie and I know it's been a while. I've been meaning to do this video for some time now. Um, I just want to update you guys that I've just been really busy. We are currently house shopping and we just found out that I am pregnant with baby number three. So this year is going to be a little bit tighter of a budget for us but I have been picking some things up here and there as I've seen them on sale. So I thought I would just give a little haul. And then after I show you all of this, I do have some things that have been sent from my wish list that came in around um, the end of November. And I just haven't been able to make a video about it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and start. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff here. So I'll start back here. So first I'll start with these dolls. These are from Walgreens and they were marked down. Um, I think they were 250 a piece. Honestly, it's been a while, I can't remember. I did go to several different Walgreens and I did pick up orders. So I have 10 of these babies, so that will make 10 toddler girl boxes. So I'm really excited about that. And this was a recent purchase at Walmart. I got three of these sets of the um, Justice League characters. These were $3 a piece. So I was really excited to find this deal. So I'll probably put them all in one box, honestly. And I just feel like that's gonna make a really fun boy box. So I have three of those. I did find some finger puppets. Now, mine were not 59 cents. I know a lot of people have been getting them at that at that price and these were $1.50. So I picked up a couple. I have two Paw Patrols and then I got two of the Baby Shark. Now with the Baby Shark ones, I'll probably pair these in a box with these stacking cups. And I got these after um, Christmas. They came with this and these are like water toys, but you can still use them as toys, as stackers. And they came with like a body soap and I just gave it to my kids because you can't send liquid. And then the other one I have is Coco Melon. And then these are stackable highlighters and they are 50 cents at my Walmart right now. So I grabbed, I think I grabbed four of each of these. I have the bears and the hearts. So at my Walmart, I found these on the clearance aisle and they were 34 cents and it's just a package of erasers and they also have like a Christmas card. I might not use the card, but I got them for the erasers. And these were also like nine cents at my Walmart and it's just um, a package of six bouncy balls. So I picked those up see that's Dollar Tree. This was at my Walmart for I want to say it was like a dollar or a dollar fifty and I usually don't have very many good finds when it comes to Barbie accessories so when I did find this I really uh, searched for more and I couldn't find any more it was the only one so I quickly picked that up and then I did grab three of these travel um, coloring kits that were from Christmas. These are marked down to $1.50 still at my store. I went down the um, Valentine aisle and I found these dinosaur erasers. So I have some girly ones. So I, when I seen these, I grabbed some at full price. They were $1.98. So those will be cute for some boy boxes. I also found a pencil sharpener for 75 cents for a boy box. And I paid full price for these um, Valentine heart bracelets because I thought that toddlers would love these. I might actually use these to make um, some dancing ribbons this year. I also picked up a couple of these color pencil packs from the Valentine section. And I'm really hoping to go back after Valentine's Day and get some of this stuff on clearance. So these socks I got on clearance Dollar Tree, I believe, for 50 cents, and these ones came from uh, Target, 
and I think I paid like a couple cents for these um, as well. These were 50 cents at my Dollar General, so I grabbed um, these sets with the red bags, the black, and then these blue felt bags that say Holly Jolly. I like to use these bags for all sorts of things, um, so I grabbed those. And this ornament was marked down, I think, to a dollar. But I thought about cutting this off, but I'm not sure if I will. Um, but it's a really cute little reindeer. I might send it as filler. I might send this as filler as well. It's just a cute little bear. And I think he was also a dollar. And then I grabbed five of these necklaces with the bells on them also from Dollar General, and I think these were 30 cents, I believe. I'll go ahead and show this. This is um, just one random thing I got at Hobby Lobby one day when I was there for yarn. Let's see, it's 150 pieces of bug stickers, and I already have some left over from last year, but I like to put these in my boxes, especially toddlers, and these were on um, sale, 40% off. So they were like $3 and some change. And then also got some of these cups from Walmart and these were like 10 cents. I only grabbed four. And then moving on to Dollar Tree, I found these dolls at my Dollar Tree and I had been looking for them for a while. And finally I found them. I got all the different four that they had and I plan to either try to crochet or sew some clothes or maybe buy some clothes that may fit these dolls. Um, I plan to put them in pairs of two um, per box so that they can kind of swap the clothes because I think you can um, put the clothes on each other. And then I found this pig from Dollar Tree as well. I like this pig. I think he's fluffy and cute. I might use this for a toddler um, farm themed box. And then also a bear for a bear box for a toddler. I also grabbed these Valentine notebooks. So I got the boy dinosaur and the unicorns. I grabbed this pack of pencils. You get 16 pencils for $1.25. So I still like to get fun pencils like this there. I got the boy version with dinosaurs and sharks in space. And then around Christmas time, I did grab these Christmas ones and these Christmas ones. And I plan to make pencil packs with these um, this year. So that is my plan with that. And this is everything that I've gathered so far. All right, so I cleared the table and this is the stuff I've been receiving since Thanksgiving. Um, so I've just been kind of opening and putting things kind of grouped together. When this stuff was rolling in, I was getting Christmas gifts for my family and my kids. So I had to open things. And when I saw this stuff, I was just completely blown away and surprised because I didn't expect it whatsoever. So I'm very thankful to whoever sent any of this stuff. Um, and I really hope to put it to good use this year because I'm on a budget. We're about to have three kids. We're trying to buy a house and it's just gonna be a busy year for us. So this is very much appreciated and it's going to help so, so much. So I'm very excited about um, all of this stuff. So I'm gonna start right here in the front. I opened this package already. It's four dinosaur um, stuffed animals by the brand Pre Prextex. And they are so, so cute. Um, so we have this one and this yellow one, uh, Stegosaurus, I think. And then we have a Triceratops. And they're really soft and really cuddly. And then we have a T-Rex. And I think, I can't decide. I might use these for toddlers this year, toddler boys. But I also really like this one for maybe five to nine or an older boy. Um, but you guys can comment below and tell me what you would do. Um, this year I feel like I'm going to make more toddler boxes um just because that is where i feel like i am doing my best like box wise i feel like those are my favorite 
and I feel like I can do those very um, full and well compared to the other ages and um, I know that toddler boy boxes are also needed because they don't get as many. I know 10 to 14 also need boxes for boys. Um, so I try, I will try to do based off what I get and based off just where everything falls into place when I put things together for what age group. But um, I do think this year I will be doing a lot more toddlers because it seems I have quite a stash for toddlers. So that's very exciting. Um, so I'll just put these over here. And then next I got a package here and inside this package was a box of 50 blue ink pens. So I'm excited to use these because I like to put a blue, black, and red pen in every single um, older kid box. So those will be useful. And then these, I was really surprised. I read that these were rulers, but I didn't know by looking at the package, they look like the full, the full size rulers, but they're actually the six inch. So I'm really excited because last year, um, I don't believe I was able to add any rulers because I didn't find any good deals. So this year I will be able to add rulers. All right, this box back here, um, I can't remember. I think this Barbie came uh, separately packaged, but I did just go ahead and open her and stick it in the box. Um, but this is Ariel and I really hope that whoever sent this, um, is okay with this not going in the aerial box I had previously recorded last year because I had already had it packed and ready to go to the processing center whenever I received this doll so I would just have to do another aerial box this year so I'm really excited that I already have the wow item for that box so thank you whoever sent aerial um, next we have a 12 pack of red pins so those will go right along with the blue and they also have an 18 pack of click pins that are black. So um, the click pins I like to save for the toddlers. So I will just be picking up more of the black um, for the other boxes. But these I'll probably use in toddlers just because I don't want them to have caps that they may swallow. Um, someone sent another pack of these pencil sharpeners and these are the ones I like to use for toddlers as well just because um, they're closed. And I was running out of erasers, so I'm really happy about this. So I have 150, 144 um, eraser caps from Papermate, and I really like these. Um, I was also out of combs, so this is really fun and exciting. I have 48 more combs to make comb and toothbrush packs for my boxes, so I'm really excited for those. And these are the washcloths, the bamboo baby washcloths that everyone uses that I see and I've never used them. So I wanna see if I can open them. I'm opened and I've never used these before, but I know a lot of you packers use them. They're very soft and I like all the color choices. So that'll be really fun. So thank you for those. And then lastly, I have gotten these fun skateboard stickers and I love to package these up um, into themed boxes. So I'm really excited to break these apart like that. So um, thank you for sending these. Oh, that's a cute cat. So um, these, are, these are really cute and really fun. Look at that dinosaur. Um, so yeah, I will break these apart into groups and um, have little sets like um, like for my uh, farm box. I'll probably have like the pig and you know other farm animals um, so that they will have some cute stickers to stick wherever. So that came with two packs of really fun stickers. So I'm really excited to go through those. And that's everything I've received since um, November. I just want everyone to know like that their stuff's making it to me. So whoever sent any of this, I'm so thankful and grateful um, for all of it. Again, 
we are gonna have a busy year so we're on a tighter budget than last year so I might not get to make as many boxes this year just because we're house shopping and we have a third baby coming in August so it's going to be a full exciting busy year for me but everything that you've sent is going to be so helpful to um, making boxes this year and I'm really excited to start packing and recording those videos for you guys again so thank you so much for being here and supporting me this past year on my first year of um, doing shoe boxes year round and I will see you guys in my next video hopefully it's soon um, we've just been really busy so thank you for still being here and for supporting me and everything I'm so grateful um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week I will see you guys in the next one bye